D-Farm update uh, deposit video. So I don't want to be the one to tell you this, but Bitcoin is going to go into a two-year bear market. Best case scenario, what we have for people if they really want a one last time to sell, and this might not even happen, is we crash down to 36000 We We pump from 36000 This is a long shot, by the way. From 36000 from where we are right now, January 2021, 2000 and 2022. Well, yeah, January 21st, my mistake, 2020 what could happen is from this point, maybe by the end of January, from 36000 we pump all the way to $100,000 because we're, we're still in the bull run, right? And that takes from February until maybe March, maybe into the summer. And then we have a horrific 85% drop down to $20,000, maybe even $50,000. And Bitcoin, from that point, once it reaches $100,000, if this scenario happens, this scenario might not even happen, then bear market could just start from now, and it goes for two years, and then we get to have a Bitcoin party again. So, saying all that to say this, it's a good idea to get into passive income stablecoin opportunities. So I got this um, BUSD um, farm over here. And uh, what, what we could do is, the first thing I need to do is approve spend if I'm going to deposit, right? So I could approve maybe five, $5 worth of BUSD, right? Because I got five in my account right there, so I could just go ahead and approve that. So... You approve the spend. Okay, I approved the transaction. Now I'm going to enter the amount of BUSD I want to stake so I could start minting um, B Farm tokens. So you can see I have 188 in my account right now, and I'm going to add five because you can see wallet balance five BUSD. So I'm going to use that. Click use. And then. Wow, the fee is stupid right now. I don't know why the fee is $1, but let's go along. I'm going to go along with this. I'm going to go along, okay? So, approve. Okay, so I just deposited the uh, $5. So now instead of 188 BUSD staked, I have 193 so it might be a better idea to come in with a big chunk so you're not paying all these fees over and over again. But on, on Ethereum, the fee would have been 80 to 50 bucks. Okay, so now I have some B-Farm token that I want to claim to add to my other stake going on here. Claim. I'll claim these. Okay, 34 cents. That's reasonable. Pay the fee on that. And just just before I do that, just before I do that, I want to show you that, um, okay, this is what I want to show you. Uh, look right here, BUSD farm token. I got 0 0.1 in my wallet. Okay, so after I claim these tokens, they should end up in my wallet. So this is 22 I'm going to um, approve to claim. What is this? Claim? Yeah, collect. This is my second collect, and then I could claim for this one. So collect, approve. All right, I claimed the first ones. It's 28, so 28 plus 22, and then I'm going to claim these ones. It's 30 cents, approve. All right, so I claimed uh, these tokens. You can see it's starting to mint again. And then I claimed those tokens. Now look, if I check my wallet right here, 50 B farm tokens. So these tokens I can send out and do airdrops for. And um, I could send you tokens if you add it to your wallet so you could stake. So now the last step would be to... Um, uh, uh, stake. I'm going to restake the B farm tokens right now. 
So now I have, um, it says right here what I have. It says that I have 50.9 BUS, uh, B farm tokens in my wallet. So I'm going to stake 50 of them. 50. Okay. So let me stake. Stake. And there's another 50 cent fee on Ethereum. This would have been $80 fee. All right, so now my 150 stake should turn into around 200. And that means that if B farm token gets to $1, that means I made my initial investment back because my initial investment was $188. And that was from July 12th, 2022 to um, July or January. I mean, January, January 15th, 2022. To January 21st, 2022, it took me to get my um, investment back on $200. That's how long it took if it gets to $1. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.